The food bank conducted a canned food drive. The chart shows the number of cans collected each day for six days. How many total cans of food were collected on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday? So I need information from Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So I am looking for how many total cans were collected on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out my blank sheet of paper. And I am going to record these numbers so that I can add them together. So 2,220 plus 2,958 <coughs> and 3,018. So this might actually be a little difficult to add these large numbers all together at once. So what we can do is we can separate these into two separate addition problems. So I can do 2,220 plus 2,958. And I can add those together first. So zero plus eight equals eight. Two plus five equals seven. 9 plus 2 equals 11, so I'm going to have to carry one of the 1s. 1 plus 2 plus 2 is going to equal 5, so 5,178. And now I can go back and add this 3,018 to this sum, and that should give me a total. So 8 plus 8 is 16, I'm going to have to carry this 1. 1 plus 7 plus 1 equals 9. 1 plus 0 equals 1. 5 plus 3 equals 8. Looks like I have a total of 8,196. I want to show you really quickly what that would look like if we added all three together. 0 plus 8 plus 8 is 16. Carry the 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. Plus 5 is 8 plus one is nine, two plus nine is 11, plus zero is 11, one plus two is three, plus two is five, plus three is eight. Looks like I got the same answer, so now I'm gonna go to my answer choices and compare. Looks like A is incorrect, B is a maybe, C is incorrect, and D is incorrect. So this A and D are really close. Look at these hundreds places. They're only off by one digit. So if we had made a mistake in that hundreds place, we may have gotten A or D. But it looks like B is our correct answer choice. And let's move on to the next question. The food bank conducted a canned food drive. The chart shows the number of cans collected for each day for six days. How many more, ooh, how many more cans of food were collected on Friday and Saturday than on Monday and Tuesday? So this is actually going to be a two-part question. I first need to figure out how many cans were collected on Friday and Saturday and on Monday and Tuesday. Then I need to figure out the difference between those two numbers. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out my blank line, blank line sheet of paper and I'm going to first calculate um, my total for Monday and Tuesday. So 1,138 plus 1,039. Let's go ahead and find our total. Eight plus nine is 17. I'm gonna carry the one. One plus three plus three is seven. One plus zero is one. One plus one is two. So it looks like my total for Monday and Wednesday is 2,177. Now I'm going to find my total for Friday and Saturday. So 2,958 plus 3,018. Go ahead and total those up. Eight plus eight is 16. One plus five plus one is seven. Nine plus zero is nine. Two plus three 
is five. So my total for Friday and Saturday is quite a lot bigger than my total for Monday and Wednesday. So that's going to go on top when I subtract. My larger number always goes on top. So 5,976 minus 2,177. Six minus seven, I can't do that. So I need to go and borrow. So that's gonna become six. I'm gonna add my 10 to the ones place, becoming 16. 16 minus seven equals nine. Six minus seven, I can't do that. I need to borrow. 16 minus seven is nine. Eight minus one is seven. Five minus two is three. Now let's go look at our answer choices. So it looks like A matches what we have. B is not really even close. C is close if we made a mistake in that hundreds place. And D looks like maybe if we added them together instead of subtracted, that might be the answer that we would have gotten. So it looks like A is the correct answer choice. All right, last one. Lena buys nine and five tenths pounds of blueberries at a fruit stand. She uses two and eight tenths pounds in a cobbler and three and four tenths pounds for blueberry jam. She gives the remaining blueberries to her friend. How many pounds of blueberries does Lena give to her friend? So it looks like Lena starts with how many blueberries? nine and five tenths, right? Then how much does she use? She uses 2.8, right? So those blueberries are going away. So we're going to subtract five minus eight. I can't do that, so I'm going to borrow. So that's going to become 15. 15 minus eight is going to give me seven. Drop down my decimal. 8 minus 2 leaves me with 6. So I've used 2.8. She's also using 3.4, 3 and 4 tenths to make some jam. So that is also going away. 7 minus 4 is 3. Go ahead and drop down my decimal. 6 minus 3 is 3. So it looks like she has 3 and 3 tenths pounds left after she makes her cobbler and jam. So that's what she has left to give to her friend. So A looks like maybe if they added all those, but either way, that's a no. B, nope. C is a maybe. D, nope. So C is our correct answer choice. <laughs>